All right, so in this part, we're going to create the profiles table, and then we're going to call the OS trigger to insert to that table. All right, so let's do that. So right here, you go into Superbase dashboard, go to table editor, create a new table. I'm going to call this one profiles. And this one, is gonna, the ID of this one is going to be the UUID types. And this one will link into the OS. And let's go into the uh, users table, and which the ID record. And the action is going to be cascade and this cascade. So it means if we delete from the OS users table, this will also delete as well. Okay. So right now, let's hit save this one. And so right now, we can create three more columns. And for this one, what I want is going to be email. Another one is going to be a display name. And another one is going to be the image URL. Okay. Image URL. And for this one, I'm, I'm not allow, I'm not allowed nullable, and the other two is allowed nullable because whenever we log in with GitHub or Google, some information is might probably missing. Some user probably do not have the image URL. Some user may do not have like display name, but the email is gonna be sure they're gonna have. So that's why I make this one not not nullable, and this one is allowed nullable. All right, so right now let's hit save this one okay i think i forgot to assign the type of this one let's make sure that the sign this type is going to be text and let, let hit save this one all right so right now we have the profiles table so our goal is whenever there's a new user sign up into here we're going to automatically insert into this table so the way that we do that is we're going to create a trigger function and that will be call so let's go into the database and let's go into function. So now we can create a new function. I can name this one create uh, user on sign up. And the type of this one is going to be trigger. So because we're going to do the trigger. And for the argument, as we can know, for the definition of this one, let's do begin and end. And so right now, this one is just going to do insert into the public dot profile table that we just create with an ID and we're gonna have the email and we're gonna do display name and also the image URL as well this is all the field that we just created and so insert with the values and so where do you get the value so the value you can get it from the OS users table so when it, whenever there's a new record in here we will insert into here right and so you can get information from this one so right now to get it, this information you can try to run this one right here you can run the select star from the auth user so it will result in this and if you want to see the record of this one you can copy as a markdown or download as a csv we, you can come back here you can paste this one so you can see this is all we got so we got every information like id role and emails and I think what we're interested in is this two right here, the raw apps metadata and the user metadata. So right now, let's try to fetch this one and see the information. So for example, if you fetch the raw apps metadata and you run this one, so you can see some of the user using the Google and some of the user using GitHub and some user using with emails. Okay. And then right here, if we fetch the raw user metadata instead, you can see the, the information such as their names, their emails. And also if you log in with uh, Google, you will have the, I think it's going to be avatar URL, which is right here. And for, if you log in with Google, you will have the picture right here. So right now, based on this information, we can use it to insert into our um, uh, profiles table. And so right here, we need to do the condition as well. So we need to detect, okay, if the user log in with GitHub or if the user log in with Google, we're going to insert for different value. If you can see right here, different um, provider will give you different app user metadata. So that's why right here, we need to do condition. But as of now, we can skip that first and we want to make sure that this uh, one is running and then we can come back and update this one okay so to get the information that we get from here what you can do inside here you can do that new dot id and this is uh, the new right here it means the new record inside the os user table that's why it's new and then we get the id and right here we get a new start raw underscore user meta underscore data and to get the access to email you can do something like this and then we can do get an email right here okay so right now i can copy this one 
and one two because uh, we need this one we need to add the comma right here so this one what we want is going to be the display name and so right now i'm going to do this one for github so for github it's going to be the username and the last one right here is going to be the avatar avatar url okay and so there's no comma at the end so make sure we end this one with a semicolon and also we make sure that we return the new record back so which is right here okay so right now for the advanced setting right here make sure to use the security definer all right so this this is good to go so right now let's hit save this one so the next step that we're going to do is create a trigger for this function all right so to create a trigger for this one you can go into the trigger tabs and if you look at the schema right here we can only create a new trigger from the dashboard which is the ui right here on the schema public only so but if you look at the auth users auth table or schema we cannot do it so the way that we do that you can use the sql editor you can go into sql editor right here so right now i already open it in the new tabs so for this one you don't have to like remember a thing you can just ask uh, ai from superbase directly so you can see they have the ai right here so for example i ask them to create a trigger on our user tables let's just press enter this one so as you can see it will generate us the code right here let's just click accept so right now we need to change a bit so uh, we need to uh, so this one is create trigger and this is this is going to be a trigger name so you can name this whatever you want so probably right now i'm going to change this one to create user on sign up instead and this is the event uh, whether you want to call this one before or after so i'm going to call this one after and then whether you want to do the action update or delete and then this one we're going to do insert okay so it means after insert into the auth user table and we're going to execute function so which function are we going to call which is going to be this function right here okay so right now let's hit run this one okay so the auth okay i think i misspelled this one so this is one should be auth.user instead okay so right now let's try to run this one again and look like we have an error okay auth user near syntax maybe we can try to debug with superbase ai as well let's see what happened and accept change so look like there's not much very change so it's the same thing right we trigger on sign up after insert on auth users and let's try to run this one again okay so now it's worked thanks ai so right now if we're going back into our database we go into our trigger and then if you go into the auth schema so you can see we have this uh, scheme uh, trigger that will be called whenever there's a new record inside the auth table right here all right so right now i'm going to remove this user right here from our githubs provider this user so right now whenever there's a new record inside here we're gonna our goal is to have a new record inside the profile table as well so let's do that so i'm gonna come here make sure i remove all the cookie from this one remove here reload and let's navigate into our auth page and try to log in with uh github right here and so right now you can see everything there's no error so everything great so and right now there's a new record here you can see provider with google uh github and if we go into the table editor go to profile very nice so right now you can see we got the information like email display name and the image url right here great so right now let's test this one with google as well and let's go into the i think uh, auth user right here this is the login provider with google so right now let's uh, delete this one and very nice so right here i need to make sure i clear the cookie and everything as well i'm going to remove this one and let's go into the auth page for this one let's go into auth and right now let's try to log in with google so i hope this one okay it's okay i see it's a pry because i thought this one is going to be error because our trigger is aiming for the uh, github only but this one is fine as well i'm not sure why surprisingly all right interesting okay if you look at back right here okay we have this new record and let's go into profile and as you can see okay all right that works That's, that worked really nice uh, but the only thing that we miss information is like the display name but the other than that it's okay i think we can fix this one all right so let's try to fix this so right now let's go into the function create uh, this one and this is where we need to fix this one for the username 
I think we can do uh, this one right here. So I'm going to paste this one. And this one will result uh, getting the null. Uh, so if we pass a two variable, a two value in here, it will result in one. If it's not null, it will result in that. So if you can see, this one will be null when we lock in with Google, right? And so we can pass another one that will uh, not null when we lock in with Google, which is going to be, I believe, um, this one is going to be name right here. Okay. So right now, I hit confirm this one. So if you're going back, I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete this one as well. And let's try to relock in again. So I'm going to remove this one and reload. Let's go into our auth page and lock in with Google. And as you can see, there's no error and it will redirect me to a home page. And you can see here. And if you go into the profile, so you can see I have my name right here and this is the everything is working out great all right so okay so i think that's pretty much it guys so in this part so in the next part we're gonna get this information and then we're gonna do display this one to our web page and we're gonna do the lockout of this user as well and before i close this one i like to mention that as of now we're gonna do because the trigger right here is if we can see this one is designed it for using only for the login with google or and uh, githubs right here okay but if you lock in if you try this one with the different authenticate providers such as discord and thing like that one thing that you need to make sure is that this information is available uh, this information right here is available and you can do that by running the actual editor that i showed you before based on the provider that you uh, lock in with so they will give you the information um, such as this information so you can update and uh, pass on your application okay and also probably in the next video maybe in the next part i will try to do another authentication with um, magic link or email and password but as of now we can skip that first and then we can focus on this first okay all right so for that see you in the next video